What's going on everybody out there? This is Popular Stranger and we are back at you again today with another Madden 24 Ultimate Team video. In today's video, we're going to be giving you an update for Season 7 on the best abilities to be using on offense right now. Over the last month or so, it's safe to say that abilities have gotten totally out of hand. There's a ton of cards that can get 5, 6, 7 abilities sometimes for 0 AP. We got X Factors as abilities in the game. So the choices that you have on a lot of these cards is probably going to be a little bit overwhelming. I got you covered. What I like to do in this video series is break down not only the best abilities by offense and defense, but also by position. So it's easier to figure out what you want to do for your quarterback, running back, wide receiver, etc. So let's go through it. This is mutt.gg slash abilities. Highly recommend to bookmark this website as this is something that I use all year round for mutt24 and going into mutt25, of course. And this will be the final update for the best abilities to be using in Madden 24 Ultimate Team. But of course, when mutt 25 comes out we'll be doing it all over again so let's talk about offense let's start at the quarterback position it's not really going to change from what we've talked about in season six and five and four it's really the same kind of three abilities now there can be a bunch of different add-ons because there's cards that have so many buckets like tom brady and patrick mahomes that you know you can just kind of plug and play whatever works for you but the very necessary abilities on a quarterback number one is going to be gunslinger if you have a quarterback that does not have a traditional four release so some of the quarterbacks that do have that are going to be lamar jackson for example golden ticket rg3 andrew luck will william refrigerator perry now when you're in mutt.gg you can actually click any player and when you go to that player's card scroll down under player traits you're going to see qb release and in this case it's traditional four so any quarterback that has a traditional four release gunslinger is not needed any quarterback that does not have a traditional four release and that includes slinger one slinger three slinger five i'm gonna recommend the gunslinger ability that's going to speed up the release it doesn't put any velocity on the passes that's where set feet lead and pass lead lead come into play so to me because i pass the ball so much i personally cannot play without one of these two abilities and there's a lot of good golden ticket quarterbacks that came out attribute wise but because they don't get set feet lead or pass lead elite it almost at least to me makes them unusable now if you're a run first person with your quarterback and you kind of go with an offense like out of pistol or heavy raven things like that this might not mean as much to you and you're going to go with more ball carrier abilities for your quarterback but at the end of the day you need either set feet lead or pass lead elite if you're going to pass a lot set feet lead is going to be better when your feet are set just like the description of it says it's in the name there pass lead elite is basically set feet lead but on the run standing still inside of the pocket outside of the pocket the only exception is going to be on high and low throws but overall pass lead elite is definitely going to be better than set feet lead and if you can get this for one ap on a quarterback even two ap to me with the nine that you're allowed on offense is certainly worth it and then the third one is really up to your scheme but i found it very useful throughout the year not only for the additional hot routes but the other things that you get and that's going to be master tactician so master tactician is basically a combination of hot route master which gives you four different four additional hot routes across any pass receiver on your team so that's wide receivers tight ends running backs fullbacks included but not only do you get those extra hot routes you also get a version of conductor which allows you to get those hot routes and pre-play snap changes in a lot faster than not having it and it also adds in playmaker which with your right analog stick if you have a wide receiver maybe cutting across the middle of the field you can flick it upwards and if he's the nearest to your quarterback he's going to start going up the field it's a great way if nobody is open to try to get to somebody open it's not always going to work but that's why master tactician is so good if you just want to go with hot route master you can but at this point there's so many Q qbs out there that get master tactician for one ap because of the added in benefits i would take that over hot route master every time even if you can get a hot route master quarterback for zero ap which there's a handful of them now i do want to stress that if your offense doesn't really revolve around having or even using those extra hot routes don't bother with this ability for me i love the ability right now especially with the defense being man coverage heavy in a lot of situations i love the ability to always have that texas route out of the backfield with my running back corner and post routes with my wide receivers and there are a bunch of plays in the playbook that i use the jets offensive playbook where you know i just run certain plays that require that specific hot route so you can always go with your slot apprentice your wide receiver apprentice on your wide receivers but at this point because master tactician and or hot route master are usually zero or one ap 
it's worth it out of the nine that you have on offense. Now, other things that you could do with your quarterback, angry runs is more so for running backs right now, but there's a few quarterbacks out there that get angry runs. It's not only good for when you're actually running the ball with them, but also it makes them a little bit more difficult to tackle when you're getting a QB sack. So Tom Brady is a good example of a quarterback that I've seen people use this on, and it can get a little frustrating when you think you're getting home and then he breaks that tackle because of anger runs, which is normally an X factor, but now there's a lot of players that are getting it as an ability, and with the charge up X factors on golden tickets and theme team all-star cards and fan appreciation cards, uh, it just adds in another element that we want to bring up in this video because X factors and ability, especially at this point in the year, certainly go hand in hand. And that's where we kind of bring up Omaha as well. This one's going to allow you to basically see what your opponent's defense is running in their secondary. You can't see the coverages for D linemen or linebackers, but the secondary corners and safeties you can see. To me, this one distracts me more than it helps me. If this helps you out, keep using it by all means. But for me, I start to get like out of character when I see what my opponent is in rather than just kind of calling my plays based on the alignment or just plays that I'm super comfortable with because I've been running them most of the year. So Omaha, at this point, you're seeing players get it not so much as an ability, but more so as an X factor for zero and one AP. And it's lit up for a lot of the game. So a lot of people are using it. Me personally, it's a really big distraction. Uh, threat detector isn't on too many quarterbacks but it is on Mahomes, Trevor Lawrence, just to name a couple, Jordan Love. This one, if you can get it on a offensive lineman instead, and we'll get there in a little while, um, this one allows you to see who's blitzing you on third and fourth down. So I absolutely love this ability. If I can see that, you know, somebody sending blitzes either on the edges, I know how to set up protection, slide, ID the mic, double team players. Uh, if I see a blitz is heavy on one side, I actually will throw towards that side because there's going to be less guys in coverage to get over there and cover those types of plays and on third and fourth downs the most critical downs in the game it's great to have that information in front of you i've heard people say that one distracts them like omaha distracts me so if you find that and it's just not working for you I'm just giving you the thoughts on what I think is very good, but some of you may play different than me, so don't feel like you have to be using that ability. I really, really find it useful. So after that, those are like the really important key top tier quarterback abilities. There's a bunch of other things to choose from, and again, I want to bring up Tom Brady, Patrick Mahomes is some pretty good examples. You got so many other zero AP buckets, it might be difficult on what to use in those because you're not used to those abilities because they're normally not worth it. Uh, you can use Fearless if you get it for zero gift wrap is still good though i don't think it's necessary at all and then i would just look towards the dead eye ability so you got dashing dead eye you got pocket dead eye you got inside dead eye just read the descriptions on these it really depends on your style of offense if you get outside of the pocket and throw a lot of corner routes on the run, dashing dead, dead eye is going to be good for you. If you throw a lot of streaks down the middle of the field or posts or in routes or drags, you can look for inside dead eye. If you're not very mobile with your quarterback, you chill inside of the pocket, you can use pocket dead eye. So again, it's really up to you and your play style, but those are some of the other abilities that you can look for as far as quarterbacks go. Uh, let's move over to running backs. If you're not using a running back with angry runs, you're simply putting yourself at a disadvantage. I hate to say it, but guys, you got to use this one, whether it's a passive X factor on guys like Walter Payton, who's basically under 400,000 coins right now, and he was even cheaper uh, this past weekend. Uh, he's going to get that, and it doesn't take up one of your three X factor slots on offense. But even if it does, you know, all your theme team all star running backs are going to get it. All the golden ticket running backs are going to get it as a charge up X factor, uh, fan appreciation, Division Dynasty. Though I don't think we got any running backs in Division Dynasty see if I'm not mistaken. But generally speaking, angry runs on your running back, it's a 100% must have. Uh, after that, it's either going to be evasive or jukebox. I had this question asked yesterday, so I'll answer it again. Is evasive and jukebox the same thing? And the answer is no. Evasive gives ball carriers with this ability a steerable juke in spin animations, whereas jukebox only helps with the juke. Now, I know a lot of you don't probably use the spin move. I'd recommend mixing it in in your ball carrier moves. I love the spin move. I catch people slipping with it all the time, but basically evasive is a better version of jukebox. And also when you're doing your jukes, make sure you take that finger off the turbo button. If you're wondering how people get that really quick juke animation that makes defenders miss, whether it's AI controlled or user controlled, evasive plus the juke without holding down turbo is the best ball carrier move in the game this year. So if you can get evasive for zero AP, go for it. If you can't, 
Jukebox is going to be the next best thing. After that, as far as, far as uh, ball carriers go, to me, there's nothing I really prioritize, but I will tell you one that I'm not seeing here a high on the list. Huddle.gg has it in their bronze tier ability section as Energizer. Ball carriers with this ability will replenish their portion, a portion of their stamina uh, with a successful juke move or skill move. So a lot of times when you're juking somebody, you get tired immediately after you can't break that big run. Energizer, especially when you can get it for zero AP, and you can see there's a bunch of guys that do that, is huge. And that's not only going to be great on your wide receivers, sorry, your running backs, but it's also going to be great on your wide receivers. When it comes to wide receivers, it's pretty straightforward. So route technician is something that's becoming really popular right now because there's a new meta on defense, and we will be dropping a video probably on Friday. We're going to skip tomorrow because it's a big content day, but probably on Friday, we'll be dropping the video on the best abilities to be using on defense right now for season seven but there's a big meta right now with man coverage and press man coverage due to the bottleneck ability and one step ahead inside shade outside shade etc so a lot of people are now going to route technician on all of their wide receivers and there's so many of them that get it for zero ap this is a good ability to have to me the must still have right now is going to be evasive or jukebox on your wide receivers as well because a lot of times what i love to do is just to throw short of the sticks on a third and eight fourth and eleven you don't always have to throw in the air for all of those yards if there's enough space between you and the next defender between jukebox evasive and yak them up along with jukes just being overpowered this year it's there's a lot of areas on the field to get extra yardage after the catch and yak them up is one of the best things out there right now so there's a few players that get it as an ability off the top of my head marvin harrison senior cd lamb marvin harrison jr uh, evan ingram at the tight end position all a couple options out there that get it as an ability and it's usually going to be one ap i don't think anybody gets it for zero ap yet correct me if i'm wrong in the comment section but this has definitely become one of my favorite x factor slash abilities all year and it just helps me get so many more yards after the catch now shout outs to zan madden if you're not familiar with him make sure you go give him a follow on youtube as well he discovered and put out a video a couple days ago that if you're running against a lot of people who are using bottleneck which gives you really good press animations um having yak them up is actually not beneficial for you it's detrimental any other x factor or x factor treated as an ability gives you a better break off of the press so we're talking things like double me max security i believe rack them up is in that discussion as well um I'm, I'm going through a bunch of x factors right now on this ability list and there's a ton out there i can't find the exact one that i'm looking for uh there's max security so this one was first out on herman moore and if you read the description you would think that it's going to be a counter to knockouts and unfortunately that's just not the case the only counter to knockouts are possession catches but you can still get knocked out with max security on there basically what i'm saying is if you have max security treated as an ability instead of an x factor and again herman moore is a really good example cd lamb uh, i think marvin harrison jr as well evan ingram's division dynasty card if you use those as an ability that's a great way to beat the bottleneck man press coverage meta that's going on right now that doesn't really add many other benefits because max security doesn't really do much outside of that double me obviously if it's not double coverage you are going to get some really good ag aggressive catch animations in one-on-one -on -one situations but what you can do if you are able to afford any of those top tier wide receivers in the game is you can go with the ability version of max security on herman moore or in a card like evan ingram you can use his x factor charged up as the yak em up and then still use the double me ability in the very last bucket to help you beat man coverage or press man coverage which are two different things man coverage in itself pretty easy to beat at the end of the day but when they got the bottlenecks out there with darrell revis and charvarius ward and they're pressing you to hell and you know sending a lot of blitzes your way you're going to need those abilities or x factors as abilities to beat the press man coverage but again just to kind of simplify it and sum it up for wide receivers right now the main things i'm prioritizing are going to be route technician jukebox slash evasive and yak them up if you can get it charged up all theme team all-star wide receivers get it and then you have your handful of higher end wide receivers marvin harrison senior is a really inexpensive guy uh that's going to get it for one ap the same thing is going to hold true for the most part when it comes to tight ends if you can get route technician on them that's great if you can get yak them up on them whether 
whether it's through the ability feature or through an X-Factor. Uh, Dalton Kincaid's a really inexpensive golden ticket tight end that gets it as a charge up. X-Factor is a pretty good example. Uh, go for it. After that, it's really up to you on tight ends and even wide receivers going back to them. Uh, red Zone Threat is one. If you get it for zero AP, it's in a bucket where you have a bunch of flexibility. Go for it because most tight ends that you're using right now are usually going to be pretty tall in targets when they're in the red zone. Matchup Nightmare is another, another good one there, but I'm really just wanting to focus on the abilities that you need to prioritize. If you have extra buckets available, explore them yourself, go through them. We're just talking about the very best abilities that you should be using on each positional group, and for the most part, wide receivers and tight ends are going to be going hand-to-hand -hand right now. We finish up with offensive line, and without a doubt, the very best ability that, if you can, should be on all five of your offensive linemen at this point is going to be Secure Protector. There's enough cards out there, left tackle all the way to right tackle, that get it for one or zero AP, and there's so many zero AP abilities in the game right now, whether it's skill position guys or not you can fit in the 9 AP that you're allowed on offense, 5 secure protectors. I have it on my main account and my no money spent account. Tomorrow for Fran Appreciation Part 2, we're getting a left tackle in Joe Thomas that's going to get it for 0 AP. Will Shields gets it at right guard for 0 AP. You got the Jason Kelsey at center that a lot of people earned for free in the last field pass. He gets it for 0 AP. There's just a lot of them out there to say the least. Now, other abilities that you want to be using, we talked about threat detector and how good and, and its benefits for that identifier is to me a necessity as well so many people get that for zero ap i'm sure that a lot of you can find a way to get that ability in your offensive line or at another position sometimes fullbacks and quarterbacks get it but a being able to see who your opponent is using is a really good way to catch them off guard pre-snap when they're on a player that they might not want to be using oftentimes for me it's a way to tell who might be blitzing and who might not be blitzing um, because you'll see that the less skilled players and no shout to you if you don't know how to do this but basically there's people that don't know how to quick adjust where you can put a defensive tackle or a defensive end in a spy or in coverage so they're kind of circling around all of the defenders trying to make these adjustments one by one when you can stay on the same player and do it all the time or do it to any player by adjusting them so when I see people doing like that you know I'll know hey he keeps going over to this left end and every time he goes over to this left end because I can see it with identifier that guy's dropping into a zone let me start running towards that way now that I know he's not crashing down to stop the run so there's a lot of really good benefits with identifier uh, we got to mention Vanguard I'm not a big Vanguard user but at this point with the tight ends that are in the game fullbacks and now offensive linemen especially because you're seeing this as a passive ability or passive of X Factor treated as an ability, um, Vanguard is top tier. Like it's one of the best that you can have because you're going to get a lot of run block animations uh, where the impact block is going to win if you read the description. So if you can get Vanguard and you can fit it within the nine AP that you're allowed on offense and you run the ball a lot, definitely go for that. But after Secure Protector and the other things I just mentioned, you know Nasty Streak is going to be great for running the ball. Uh, Post up and all day are going to be great for passing the ball. So if you can get any of these, definitely go for it. I still have. I have no idea if linchpin works, but this is supposed to be like the defensive rally version of your offensive lineman when it comes to, I think, run blocking, or is it run blocking and pass blocking? I really have no idea, but I, I try to keep this on at least one player on my offensive lineman, uh, out of my offensive lineman. It doesn't stack, so using it on two different players doesn't really matter, but I did want to throw it out there because there's so many players that get it for zero AP. Uh, and I do want to mention one other thing for quarterbacks because I, I totally forgot about it. My bad there. Uh, Truz on your quarterback, if you're running the ball a lot with them, having this is either an ability or an X-Fact or it basically prevents you from fumbling outside of like strip fumbles or peanut punch type fumbles. So if you do find that you run the ball a lot with your quarterback, definitely try to use Truss out there. And this is a good substitute for Omaha if you don't really need or care for Omaha like I don't. So that's it. Those are all of the abilities right now that you should prioritize and be using on offense. Hopefully I didn't forget any. There's so many choices and so many zero AP options right now. I feel like there's probably one out there that I may have forgotten. And if you know what that ability is that I did forget, leave it down below in the comment section. Let me know which ones you're using and which ones work really good for you. Thank you for watching. My name is Popular Stranger. I'm out. Peace.